when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome to the channel. I hope you stick around, check out some of the other vids. We've got over 100 now, which is mad. <laughs> um, and some cool things that are still floating about, some things that are brand new, like this guitar today, and stuff that you will see knocking about on eBay. So go check out the reviews and hopefully it'll give you a better guide, the kind of approach of what you're gonna be spending your money on. Um, we tend to have a lot of fun, and it, it's not really as serious as it needs to be, but we're serious about our gear. So we'll have a little bit of a laugh, but we we aim to kind of give you the best information we can possibly give you. So in the information panel, you'll see what this guitar is all about. Um, a little bit of a harkening to a more mellow kind of attitude from Ibanez with this one. So it's not as in your face, black metal, shreddy kind of thing. It's more of a kind of pull it out at any type of gig kind of guitar. And with being a premium range as well, it's really quite affordable. Uh, we're gonna be looking at this guy's big brother in a sec as well. So with this, you get that kind of lovely um, matte finish on there. This is not a push pull, unlike it's premium, um, or like it's prestige big brother, but we do have the three way selector switch and we have got that typical kind of old Americana kind of tone machine. So it's a little bit bigger in the body, which resonates a little bit. It is lighter than you'd expect, even though it feels like it's a solid lump. And it's more of a stratty kind of Fender style feel in the neck. If any of you guys used to playing Joe Satriani models, you'll definitely like the neck profile on this guitar. It's awesome. With it being a premium, um, and the same with the Prestige, you get the premium or the Prestige uh, treatment on the fret edges. So it's really, really smooth. There's no kind of sticky out bits or weird kind of vibe. It, it, it's a really, really nice setup guitar. Um, so we'll just talk through some of the tones. So in the intro, I played through everything, rolled the volume down, just cleaned it up a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick it on a pure clean tone, go through some of the pickups for you. Uh, so there's a little bit of delay on there. So I'm gonna take off the, 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 the kind of big swell delay. And now we've just got a little bit of modulation on there. So it's just, it's just a couple of kickbacks on that. Um, and that's the only effect that you're hearing. So um, let's try that on the neck pickup for a clean tone. Thank you. 
it reacts really well to pick or fingers. Middle pickup. And then you see how that tone um, tone um, responds. So, nice guitar, man. Feels really kind of traditional. It's definitely not I'm a shredder kind of cat. It's more of a laid back kind of do it all instrument, but it sounds absolutely awesome with a full gain sound on. So, just gonna kick in that full gain again and play some kind of t t typical kind of rock kind of stuff. <laughs> So guys, it's cool. Check it out. If as with everything any evidence you've seen on the channel, go and check out the website, man, because all the information is on there. But guys, you can't knock it. So we'll see you in the next episode, guys. <laughs>